how big our health system is. Okay? So don't push it. So how are you? It's been a really crazy past few weeks. And to be honest, I didn't know whether or not I should make a video about the coronavirus, but I feel like it is my civic duty as a member of the public to speak up and talk. But I am not here to give out new information. I am not here to give medical advice. I am not a medical professional. I am a law person. I just wanted to give maybe a little insight on life and the social impact and how Brunei has become since we had our COVID-19 outbreak. So what happened? On March 9th, Brunei had confirmed its first positive case. This was linked to a mass religious gathering in Kuala Lumpur. And as of filming this at 7.30 p.m. on Sunday night, there has been 88 new cases and two fully recovered. So a little bit of good news. Right now, everything just feels almost restrictive. Not quite on lockdown, but just tense. And to be honest, I completely understand why. Since then, schools have closed down. My sister and my brother are currently on holiday. Restaurants are not allowed for dine-in. You can only do takeaway, delivery, or just a drive-through. Most people have been asked to stay home or work from home. And those who cannot, trust me, we really, really appreciate you right now. We've also been barred from traveling abroad, all citizens, just to prevent the spread. So no going out to travel anymore. And that's okay. It's honestly okay. It's only been a couple of weeks and just last night on Saturday, His Majesty Sultan Haji Hasnal Bolkiah made a special tita. He just states that Brunei must be ready and united to deal with this pandemic. I really do commend how everyone's been handling the situation and urging everyone to stay home. I think it's more important now that we listen to authorities and listen to the people who know what to do. As a member of the public, I can only listen right now. What's going on with me? Well, I'm currently practicing social distancing. I'm not going to any places that have large crowds. I'm staying home unless it's completely necessary. Filming's postponed, so I'm not going out too much, but I do have to work occasionally. I did go out today. I went out to drop off some things for Shasha because she's coming back. Shasha's coming back to Brunei today. It's Sunday, she's coming back home today. So we thought it would be really good if she vlogs the experience. So I'm gonna give her my vlog camera. I'm not gonna give it to her, but I'm gonna give it to the facilities um, reception and they'll hand it over to her. Hopefully you enjoy it, Shasha. Hopefully she's gonna be okay too. We went out to get her some stuff like Jollibee. Yay Jollibee, our favorite restaurant here. She's going to be under quarantine by herself. Good luck, Shasha. Hi, it's been a weird week. And we're gonna be right here at home just isolating as a family. I know that life feels really quiet right now. It just, the sudden change and isolating yourself from the public can be very, very hard, I know. And those people who are mentally drained from this, just know that your feelings are valid. I know how tiring and exhausting it must be not to have social interaction and feeling this way is completely fine and I think you should give yourself the space to feel like this. If you're able to stay home, please stay home. I know it's really hard right now, especially if you're very extroverted, but as an introvert, it's, it's kind of easy for me. I literally just stay home most days if I don't have work. I thought I would give a little bit of advice just to ease the social distancing. But if you have any more suggestions, please leave them in the comments down below. I think right now more than ever, we do need help and maybe some tips about how to social distance a little bit better and not make your mind go slightly crazy. For me, I really like having a routine. I like waking up a consistent time. I usually wake up at seven, but now I've been waking up at 11 or 12. Uh. But yeah, I wake up at a consistent time, I make coffee, I get dressed, and I write down what I'm supposed to do. I think just getting out of my PJs really helps like separate lazy mode and work mode even when I'm at home. I'm a freelancer, I work from home occasionally, I have emails, I have to write, I have to do a lot of things online, but knowing when to separate 
my workspace and my regular relaxing at home space is super, super important just to make sure my mind knows when to switch. But it doesn't have to be work or studying. You can just give yourself blocks of time to do something new. Maybe for me, my mornings and afternoon will be for filming or for writing or for whatever work I'm supposed to do that day. And then in my evenings, I watch a movie or I knit. I really like knitting. Speaking of knitting, get a hobby. I think hobbies are really, really great now that we are spending a lot of time by ourselves. Do something that you haven't done in a long time. Like I said, for me, that's knitting. I haven't knitted in years and I'm gonna try my hand in making a sweater and hopefully I can vlog it because I miss knitting so much. I've also started reading books on my Kindle Unlimited. Kindle Unlimited is kind of like Netflix for books. You borrow up to 10 books and then you can return it, replace it with a new book. It's only £7.99 a month, but you do get two months off for free. So really great. Also, I can't believe I'm suggesting this, but if you're really bored, try making TikToks. I don't, maybe. My sister really loves it. I personally might do it if I'm bored enough, but that is a last minute resort for me. Just because we are staying at home or self-isolating does not mean we can't go out. So if you can, get out in the sun and actually feel the sun in your face. I just think it makes you feel better just feeling the warmth on your skin. It's important to go outside even if it's just in the car or at home. I try to say hi to my cats at least once a day. This is Mittens. He's so lazy and cute, aren't you? Yes, you are. Yes, you are. Come here. Oh, nope, just his balls, never mind. And I think most importantly, we have to try and be social. Humans are social creatures. We're literally born to be social. And our life depends on us having social interactions. So talk to people online, watch movies together, hang out, do FaceTime. Make sure you have regular interactions with people. It's so, so important. I'm quarantined with my family, so it's okay. But there are a lot more people who might be by themselves. And it's important that you reach out to them, especially those who are extroverted. But honestly, you don't really need to listen to my tips. It's okay if you don't want to be productive during this really, really weird time and no one really tells us what to do, you know? What we can do right now as a public is just to thank everyone who is still working at this time, especially the medical professionals who are risking their lives and can't see their friends or family. They're working so hard, the frontliners, and what we can do is thank them and be absolutely grateful that they're doing their work and all we have to do as members of the public and the community is literally to stay at home. It's such a privilege to do that. And I cannot stress this enough that we have to do our part. Don't forget, wash your hands, stay hydrated, and don't panic. I feel like there could be a mob mentality of panicking a lot of the time, but please, please be smart and stay calm about the whole situation. And speaking of that, don't share everything that you see on social media. Don't share everything that you get on WhatsApp because we can't verify it and we don't know what's real or what's false. Listen to trusted news sources, listen to MOH, listen to Borneo Bulletin, listen to those that you know can 100% verify the news. Your mom cannot verify the news, just saying. Speaking of social media, I think it's also really important right now that we limit our social media and avoid it. I know it's hard, but sometimes, at least for me, getting all this information all at once is really anxiety inducing and it kind of overwhelms me. It scares me just to get so much information and it just tires me out for the rest of the day. Please just try to take your news very slowly and when you can. I will leave links below to all the updated news sources and maybe some helpful videos that can make you understand this pandemic. I'm not here to scare you. I'm not here to make you nervous. I just want to be here to say that's going to be okay. I'm not a medical professional. I don't know much about the virus, but I just want 
to be there to express my gratitude to everyone who has helped, everyone who is staying at home, and everyone who is still watching to the end of the video, because you guys are great. As for my own videos, I think this one is going to be a very spontaneous video. It's not gonna be my usual videos, because uh, I think it's important that I still remain this channel to be kind of entertaining, hopefully, <laughs> to some people. I just want it to feel like a sense of entertainment when the world gets really stressed. Anyway, uh, don't know if this is relevant or if this is okay to do, but it is my video, so if you like this video, please do like, comment, and subscribe. My name is Bash Harry, and we're gonna be okay even if it doesn't feel like it right now. Bye.